Is everybody morning? Morning. Morning. So hopefully today we're gonna to shell some wheat, pick some wheat, harvest wheat, whatever you want to call it. But first today, we are coming over here to the building. We gotta deliver some hydraulic fluid so they can test the big power doors. So in yesterday's video, this head, the belts would not turn. The draper belts, turns out, probably gonna have to replace this belt. It's got a bunch of stuff building up in it and the belt's just not in the greatest shape. This belt's not even that old, I don't think. But we have a spare draper belt. So we're taking this splice part, get the nuts off of it. Need to, let me see your crowbar. Dax, I'm glad you brought your crowbar, buddy. Good grief. Rat nest, ain't it? The gleaner, we're gonna replace this belt too. It's still too wet to harvest right now. We're waiting on it to dry off. We have a spare belt. Let's just go ahead and take care of it now before we have issues later because this is no good. That's just gonna get worse. Yeah, we got the belt out of this thing finally. Now for the fun part. Fun part's putting the new belt back in. Hey, stick that in the McDonald's real fast. I'm stick it someplace. <laughs> you want me to show you where? You bring lunch? I found it. Yeah, the back corn nuts up there. Uh, what can you hold that up with? That tarp strap holder. That rib back air is catching or something. Amy just got home from 4 H camp. She's ready to start helping us put this head back together. Bless her heart. The mean head. We head. Where's the subs? I, I, I feel dabbed. Are you serious? That one ain't been washed yet. Probably got the wrong belt on the wrong head. Just gotta get this ingenuity on camera. It's coming together, Dad. Yeah. You still give it a slack in it down here, it feels like. Well, we're getting her. Yeah. Yes. No. There she went. If you can. It's a note to uh, the viewers. It helps if you take all the tension off the tensioner. Let's see put that Leave this here for dad. He ain't had one of these in a while. Hey guys, I forgot to point out what was wrong with the gleaner in this video. So in the last video we had the gleaner detuned. Tech came out and found out some rats had eaten the wires to the EGR, which is preventing us from getting full power. So easy fix once it was found, but um, yeah, that's what was going on. So we hate rats. Hey, don't forget to like the video. Good stuff. Good time to do that. Well, we're gonna try some wheat here. I think we got everything ready. We got the draper belt on, put it on the trash belt, got it on the other one. We're gonna try it. See, so, yeah, I should have dried out some. The sun's halfway shining and uh, a little hazy, but it's better than yesterday. And uh, we'll see what it's like now. It's gotta be under 20. Take the elevator, can't go over 20. So, see what it's like. It's a hard to tell what's gonna happen. Well, it looks like going in. I think he's coming up the back. Well, we're right on the mark here. We're about 
20 percent, 20, 20, 21, 19 and a half. So the elevator wants it under 20. It won't take it if it's over 20. So I guess we're going to have to wait an hour or so, see if it dries off a little bit. Uh, that seems like pretty good wheat, but we just need to wait a little bit, maybe an hour or so to dry off some. So Dad is testing the gleaner, I guess. Came back, got a case of water and combines were moving. I don't know how much this we're going to do. Brad just went and tested some and came back 20%. The limit is 20%, so. Yeah, I don't know. So right now the status is we're gonna wait an hour. We're gonna go try to check on a couple other things. We got a sprayer hose we need to put on, I guess. We're very borderline. And dad's worried that as soon as we take this load up there that it'll get rejected for moisture and then we'll be stuck with it for a little while. So we're gonna wait a little bit, let this stuff dry down, um, and then come back this evening I guess or in an hour or two. Good news is we got more sun than we've had in a while and we got a little bit of air movement so we should be able to dry down a little bit today. All right let's try this again. We're running now one way or another something's happening. Brad is taking that thing to town. Them blue peats are good looking semis I think. I think they look great. Pushing them white tempies. First full tank. This stuff's definitely a little wet. There's Dad finally back. Brad's over here waiting on a little bit of wheat to finish loading him. Then he'll be out with the first load. Yeah, we're back at about 3 o'clock. We're going to see what we're getting down here. I'll make it anywhere from 16 to 20, so we don't worry about the field. Pretty good wheat. Well, the field is just about opened up. I'm waiting on BJ. I'm gonna go down here and dump on him. Then I'm gonna start going back and forth. Something's not hooked up right on Dad's GPS. So he's steering by hand so he can finish opening this thing up. So me and BJ are gonna to have to be super truckers. Brad's already behind. This is pretty good wheat and everyone's trying to run wheat today. This is the first day we can run wheat. So the mill is uh, busy. So I'm going to uh, hop in a truck. Dad's gonna get in the gleaner. His auto steer, like I say, is not working the greatest, so he might as well have auto steer. And uh, his combine's already loaded, so he's just going to leave it loaded, run this one. So here I'm using pipe bag. Brad has a pipe bag monitor in his truck. We can see that he is still at Valley Grain. And it looks like he's just scaled in. Got ourselves a convoy. So if we get up here to the valley, grain the elevator, I'm switching trucks with Brad, so he's gonna sit in line a little bit longer, but I want to get back to a combine. There's the neighbors harvesting. Here we can observe the grain cart operator deep in thought. Don't spook it, folks. Don't spook it. Elevator closes at 7, and it's about a 30 minute drive, and it's a little after 6.30, so we're going to have to move. Now we were a couple minutes after 7. Hopefully they dump us. That'd be pretty miserable if they don't, but we were a little late. I really thought we'd be here just a little sooner, but we weren't. All right, we were the last truck, we're out of there. It's almost eight o'clock though. So, yeah, not bad. We got there at 7.04 or something like that. And just by the time you get dumped and everything, a little bit slower elevator, it's 7.52. Dax came back and was riding with Pappy. Now he's sitting in my seat. Hey, did you know when you were here earlier you forgot your crowbar? It's in my truck. Don't take my stuff, Brian. I didn't. You left it. I saved it. I was going to put it in this truck and keep it. I thought you were. 
Well, back in my combine, I've been running the cleaner, drying the gypsy lotion up there, the elevator. They was lined up with Lee Brad, and he was staying up there, and uh, they just got back. And he said, all we can do is move to 830. So all we can do, everything falls up to the cart. So we'll move the cart. That'd be it. Night. Sound like our rain night. So. Well, I guess we don't need much. Brian will finish filling the cart down, back and fill the cart. So. He's about halfway down there. So. He's, he's running the cart in the fin. I like it. It's it, so I suppose he got used to it. So. Guess that's it for me. I'm going to uh, hook ahead and take start moving stuff in to the shed tonight. Alright, we are almost to the end, Dax. You ready to go home? You look sleepy. So it's just about 9 o'clock. Uh, once we get up here, we'll pretty much have enough to load the cart. It's supposed to rain tonight, so everything is getting put up tonight. That's what Dad and BJ are doing now. Dad took his combine up. Once I get dumped on this cart, we'll be taking that up and then this combine up also. Oh! This is less than ideal having a uh, hydraulic leak like this. Not how we wanted to end the day. It is not Possibly a loose fitting? Hmm. Could have possibly been a fire. Hopefully it's just a loose fitting, that'd be awesome, but hot oil on chaff, not a good mix. So we have a fuel leak. That fitting right there is super loose, dripping fuel everywhere. 